A man of the people and for the people, a personality larger than life, and a true Jamaican patriot. Tributes for the late Roger Clark were laden with love and admiration. It's no surprise then that thousands of Jamaicans from all walks of life turned up at the St. George's Church in Savlamar, Westmoreland to say goodbye to the late Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries. At the crack of dawn, people began making their way into the churchyard on Great George's Street. The Thanksgiving service was scheduled to start at 10.30, but by 9 o'clock it was obvious that neither the church nor the grounds would be able to accommodate the thousands of persons who wanted to pay their last respects. Besides the 1,000 or so attendees who could hold inside the St. George's Church, funeral goers were accommodated in an annex and under huge tents erected on the lawns. Others settled for any vantage point they could find. I've never seen a, a, you know, a public funeral of this magnitude. We were catering for 10,000. I think we're well over that today. Well over that because, in fact, you can see the entire church hall is full. We have the, the monitors on the streets and the support has been overwhelming. And Roger Clark, give prosperity! Well wishes came from near and far, the young, the old, the disabled, some travelling from as far away as Portland to bid farewell to this Jamaican political icon. I wake up at about 4.30, fry my fish, roast breadfruit, and uh, I make a jug of drink. I said I have to come down here soon. We have at least 28 students, 28 students and around 12 academic staff members. We left Portland 5 o'clock this morning, but some of us were up from around 2 and 3, right? That's how important it was, and that's how serious we took this funeral service today. I'm here to pay my respect to Mr. Roger Clark for his great contribution to Jamaica and his excellent work that he has done. He's a great man. He has done much for our country. We're a team of um, employees, my um, CEO, his wife, and a couple of managers are here. We're here to show support, and um, Mr. Clark has been a a great um, contribution to our business, the Rainforest Seafood. He has been a mediator, he has been a, he's a man for all seasons. So we are we're happy to be here and I'm very proud of what he has done for us. USAID has worked very closely with the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries and in particular the late Honorable Roger Clark was a supporter and champion for our programs and we will dearly miss him. I will dearly miss him as a friend and a counterpart for us. The two of us attended the funeral, and uh, we both actually left yesterday, so we could be a bit closer and make the, the final miles uh, a little bit easier. His political supporters and allies came out in their colors, the many hues of orange, evidence that their beloved comrade had fallen. He impacted politics in a way that we should all aspire to at least replicate in that all types of persons like him um, and not just political divide but also um, class divides and, and, and even economic divides and, and there must have been something correct for the persons with different interests to think that you are still a good person. I, I don't know what the, the remedy is as yet but it's something to aspire to. Roger Clark's remains were interred in Glen Eiley Williams Field. Though his body has been buried, his contribution to national life will live on. History will no doubt look fondly at this gentle giant who lived life out loud each and every day of his 74 years. In, in the morning.